Hello everyone, so this is Shruti Avja. Welcome to a new video on my channel. So on request, I have made this video regarding tips for exam answer writing. So I will be telling you all the points uh, in three videos that is anatomy, physio and biochem. So this is a dedicated video for first year MBBA students um, because I am currently in second year and I can guide you well for first year. So let's start. Uh, in anatomy uh, or it could be any paper if there is like part 1 or part 2 whatever it is uh, for example I am having 10 questions in part 1 and I know the question 9 very well so I need to start with that question only because uh, we need to present the best answer first this is not my idea this is uh, like told almost by all the teachers in the college also next is allocate time for each question in NEET also we do this thing like one minute per question or something like that but here I have made a calculation for you and it is 1.5 minute per mark and I have excluded the 30 minutes if you want to waste or you can revise it as well next is 10 mark question will have 15 minutes maximum so you need to keep a check on time as well because uh, it is not so that you will spend uh, like uh, half an hour doing that 10 mark question because out of uh, the 10 marks they will not give you more than 7.5 marks in like usually okay in usual trends so if more than 7.5 marks is uh, very rare or in only some colleges but out of 10 only this is the maximum uh, according to the nmc and everything according to their trends so if we spend the whole time here we may miss another 10 mark question or 5 mark question and that will be a very big loss for us Next, if less time is left, don't panic. Only write the important points, highlight the points and uh, draw a diagram or a flowchart and do not make big paragraphs because reading paragraph is really very difficult for the, uh, the teachers and the professors because they have to check 150 papers after all. Next, draw diagrams in every question and draw the big diagrams. Small, small diagrams are very irritating and draw big diagram as much as you can as much as your time allows as well so labeling on one side only right or left and do not label on the top bottom right left 360 degree no okay so write in big letters and um, not like um, you can see this much this one is very uh, like more legible or this one obviously this one it is more appealing as well so we need to ensure our handwriting, the size of handwriting, the size of writing is uh, enough, like uh, legible enough for the uh, professor to read. Next, make flowcharts rather than points or paragraphs. This is true for whole subjects, like uh, all the three subjects, okay? Paragraphs, no one is going to read. And even if you have written more information, uh, you will uh, not get, uh, like, up to the like uh, your expectation marks right so if five mark question is there make five subheadings and then answer it do if uh, don't put all the information in three subheadings or two subheadings that looks like you only know two points not five points right draw colorful diagrams write clinical correlations with every answer even if it is not asked so you are in mbbs anatomy is uh, like studied in like they are in many courses, right? But in MBBS, you need to ensure clinical thing is there in anatomy, physio and biochem as well. So clinical correlations, uh, mainly uh, you can also focus on like embryology. There are two more questions explain why, right? So in that almost there is um, about the clinical anatomy, clinical embryology only, almost. So you can focus on these two markers uh, in our college we used to get two on two if the answer is the reason is right so this can be a big like scoring part in the for the exam purpose right now histology if you uh, have uh, less time left with you draw a small circle and it should be a proper circle with a bangle or a compass right so draw a small circle and ensure that you fill hold the area of that uh, circle right don't uh, draw two to three cells and uh, leave it even if you draw those three cells very right but 
leave all the space that is not presentable uh, for the exam right so this was all the these were all the tips basically for anatomy uh, exam paper writing whatever so i hope uh, you like this video and uh, stay connected for biochemistry and physio tips which are upcoming soon on this channel